All right, yesterday I was worried that this wasn't in focus, but it is even without the uh, white background. So I, I took the white background away and uh, going to get back on this uh, base. Time to play with some play. I'm afraid the face is the only thing I'm going to have time to do today. Uh, it's uh, I had to go to the grocery store today because I was running out of uh, food supplies for my refrigerator. And uh, it's minus 35 degrees Fahrenheit uh, with a wind chill. So it took a little longer to do things uh, because of the temperature, because of the... Uh, slippery roads right now and I mean it is cold out there I wore a pair of work gloves and I need to get my winter gloves out because those work gloves the uh, cold went right through them it doesn't take long for your fingers to get numb so anyway I'm gonna do as much as I can in the half hour, 45 minutes that I've got. And uh, we'll just go from there. i got to figure out how I'm going to do the uh, war bonnet, if I'm going to do a war bonnet. I've got a couple of uh, options I could go by. And uh, one of them is a uh, buffalo horn headdress. Uh, but I've just got to figure out what I'm going to do. I got the heat on too, by the way, so you're going to hear the heater. I've tried to uh, reduce that down in my videos this year, but uh, when it gets this cold, uh, you just got to have that heater on. Speaking of the heater, What I'm doing is I'm taking the measure of his head for the war bonnet and I'm using this uh, aluminum wire to do that with. I got an idea of how to set the pattern for the uh, headdress, but I've got to work it out. His nose has gotten kind of smashed. <laughs> I mean, I mean, really smashed. Looking like an alien. I'm sorry, this is not that exciting. 
of a video right now. But this little small little movements of clay is uh, what I'm doing right now with a real small ball tool. I didn't use these ball tools until a few years ago. Somebody introduced me to them, and I really like, like them. They're uh, very handy for working in things like this. But you've got to be careful because you hiccup, and you could change the whole face. <laughs> That's about the size of the uh, or amount of clay that I'm working with that I'm adding to this base. And uh, just little tiny pieces of clay at a time. Yeah, I'm not a bit happy with this uh, eye, so I'm gonna do the eyeballs again, the eyes again.
All right, I'm going to have to come back and work on this on Monday. Or, no, I won't be here Monday. I'll be here Tuesday of next week. And I don't know what day next week I'll be going to the foundry. So, uh, a lot depends on that, too. But uh, I'm not happy with those eyes yet. And I may work them again. The eyes are going to be the hard part on this piece. Because they're so small. And... Uh, just take it a little bit at a time and know when to quit and know when to work on it. And right now it's time to quit on it. All right. See you next week. Have a great weekend and be safe. If it's snowing where you are, be careful. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.